Hey everyone, this is Kiki from Metal and High Heels. I'm here with Tim Tronku at Metal Female Voices Fest. How are you doing today? Very good, and you? Good, good. What have you been up to? You've been very busy, I think. I've been way too busy. Uh, these last years have been pretty crazy, working with lots of big bands, big names in the business, but also working on some personal projects, doing more fashion work as well, so trying to combine those things with my teaching. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it kept me pretty busy. Yeah, that's right. Let's go um, piece by piece, <laughs> step by step. You had a, a very uh, cool exposition uh, last night yeah. at your school, right? Yeah, the school I teach at was like, hey Tim, you've been teaching here for five, six years, why not throw an exhibition on your work? And I would never really thought about that and they supported me from the very start, so I did it and it was a big success. There were a lot of people, a lot of people who were interested in my work because there were a lot of people who didn't know the bands um, that were there, that which I showed pictures of. So that was also a good way for them to get to know that. Not only my work, but also the music and the fashion part and everything behind that. So that was really cool. What kind of uh, crowd was it? Were, was it uh, your students and their parents or was it more open? Yeah, mainly. So everyone could come, so there wasn't any problem. But mainly the my students and their parents. And they were also, some of them knew what I did next to teaching, some of them didn't. And when their parents also saw my work, they were very surprised and in a very positive way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because there's always some Satan in a school, right? That, that's <laughs> that's tricky. That that's a bit of a risk, but I think it turned out really well, and people loved it. And there were also some of my friends who could come. Fortunately, also some people who had nothing to do with the school who just came to stop by to check out my work. Mm -hmm. So that was also really nice. Cool. So that that's actually true what you just said. It's like um, in real life, so to speak, uh, there are still some people nowadays, still some people that look at you like you listen to metal. Yeah, true. And indeed. more so in a, in, a, in this uh, school environment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, indeed. That is actually pretty funny because every year my students ask me, Sir, what kind of music do you listen to? And I go like, I listen to, I start off easily. I, said, I'm, I go like, I listen to rock. Like, That's okay, <laughs> and then they're like, really? No, it's metal. They're like, what? Metal? <laughs> you? I'm like, yeah, me, metal. Yeah, why not? But I listen, I don't just listen to metal, of course. I listen, I'm a big fan of Beyonce, Lady Gaga, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, all of the of the, the pop singers, Madonna, Britney Spears. Why not? K throw in some Katy Perry and I'm happy. <laughs> it's uh, the good variation that keeps me alive. So Yeah, that's true. How do you dress for school, for teaching? How do I, just like this? Or I dress up just a little bit more, just a, a little bit more. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> like a, 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 yeah, sometimes a nice suit, mm -hmm. fancy shoes, like today. <laughs> <laughs> Your shoes are gorgeous. Oh, are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cool. So um, back to the to the bands. Mm -hmm. um, has there been a highlight in the past uh, year or so? Um, one of the highlights. Probably I had a couple of highlights was first of all doing my finishing up my personal project which took me over three years to complete so we did it in three different parts and now that, that it was done we just needed to organize everything and release it so now I am gradually week by week releasing um, one picture at a time of that project it's gonna be like 14 pictures and now I've released two of them which have been received very well by everyone and now we're just gonna build it up better and better and better until the final picture early 2017 and that's gonna be that's a combination of like what I do in music um, but also in fashion metal it's a bit dark but with a fashionable side to it mm -hmm. so it's always working together with fashion designers to create these images and that's cool and the models too oh yeah of course the models Mm. It sounds like big fun all the time, like being this creative in presenting this kind of images. Yeah. True, because the, as you said, the models, they are, um, there was one model I worked with for, you know, actually two. One female model and one male model. The male model is going to be in the picture soon. Um, and they are always also very open to this. They are very supportive and they are open to creativity. Because when you approach a model, hey, we're going to do something that involves a bit of Satan, like wearing horns and stuff like that. Some of them are like, no, mm, <laughs> that's maybe a, a step too far. I'm gonna go, and I'm like, oh, well, 
you sissy. Let's go, just, <laughs> let's go for someone else. But this girl that modeled for this project, I knew her very well, and she's very great. It's Sharon, Sharon Bouquet, and she's mm -hmm. very good. She's from Belgium as well. She's very cool. She's very professional. And yeah, she's a, she's a good sport at it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then some other highlights you mentioned. Uh, so in my band work, that must have been getting uh, um, a phone call from Taria to, to work on her wow. new album, doing her new pr her, doing her new promotional pictures. Of course, Epica doing their new promotional pictures, which turned out so fucking great. Mm -hmm. I was so happy with that. They gave me so much creativity, so much, so much freedom to do whatever I wanted to, and I could finally play a little bit more with special makeup, and that's something I've wanted to do for ages with with Simone. And finally, we were, we were able to do that. So we spent a couple of days doing that, and that turned out fantastic. I don't know if you it saw is. the pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, you landed some uh, magazine covers uh, from that, too. So yeah. that's, that's Once amazing. Once I, um, I went to Antwerp, and I went into this international magazine store, and I looked at all the covers of the, of the metal section. I was very surprised to see Epica was everywhere. I was like, hey, my picture, my picture, my <laughs> picture. That was like, why? Yeah. I'm pretty good, right? <laughs> well, no. But it's still very, very, very cool to see that people pick it, pick it up, actually, and that people still appreciate the good art and good photography. And I, I, I don't want to brag. I mean, but I think I'm good at what I do. I just, yeah. Sure. Otherwise, you wouldn't yeah. be um, successful. Like, I think we can say that. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I think yeah. um, also at this festival, this festival has really helped me a lot in building up towards where I am now. And I will never forget that. So that's why I come back every year because it's also a bit of, uh, bit of nostalgia for me. So, yeah. Do you have an online shop? Yeah, I do. On my website, which is just my name. Um, people can go to a shop, which is going to be renewed soon. And uh, there are going to be two new prints available very soon, uh, which is a Camelot. Shot is signed by the full band. Uh, that's limited to 20, 30 pieces, I think. And then there's going to be one of Sharon of the Temptation that she personally signed 40 pieces, and we're going to sign them as well. Nice. But that's true. So, uh, How do you do that? Do you pick them up and send them to the band? And then yeah, well, I mostly wait when they come to Belgium. I have them printed. I arrange everything with them, with management, yeah, with those artists like Sharon of the Temptation. Uh, I just, we have a very good bond, very good bond, very good connection, and we, I just let her know and ask her if it's possible. If she agrees, and we discuss with management how we can do this, and then we mostly meet at a show or a festival where I bring the prints, and she just, and that's well, it. All right. So we'll link your website on the um, description, and uh, thank right you so very here. much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. My pleasure.